G'day RPG Makers! Welcome to the RPG Maker MV Game Dev Channel. Let's make a game! Alright, so let's recap what we did in level 1 of the RPG Maker MV tutorial series. The easiest way to do that is just do a quick playthrough. Press play on our game. We have the lovely RPG Maker MV icon. We set up our title screen. We customize the name of our game, and we customize the music. Here we had our town. We had our greeting NPC who can call us by our name and give us a task. If we say no, she's not happy. We try again. If we say yes, she is happy. We had a way to pick up money in the grass and highlight items. We had uh, creating a chest. We made an inn where you can go and stay for the night. And we made a little shop with the various items that you can take into the dungeons. Okay. We also made a notice board at the entrance to town, so something random. We made a second notice board. That was in our little extended edition. You can also have a... We had a back section to the, the notice board. In our extended edition we set up a short quest. Found a puppy. Get a reward. We set up a character that will walk around the statue or run around the statue endlessly. She'll stop when you get in the way and she'll keep going. We had two series of item givers and checks based on two different variables types. Switches and item checks. And we had a couple of NPCs that like to move. And this one can move together. And if you block their path, then only he will move. And they'll do that endlessly. That was our first town, which was pretty simple. We're now able to leave the town. We have different music on our world map. And we have a dungeon. In the dungeon, we made a door. Another chest where you can pick up some items. In our extended edition, we set up a... Well, uh, we made a test of the stones. That was the extended version, slightly puzzle oriented. We have a little enemy that we can fight. We created a skill for one of our characters. We can go into a dungeon and have a fight with some monsters. We can use special skills and healing, etc. Got some magic that's cast on individuals and our priest has a healing spell that they can use. But we've already won. Okay, we can get some experience, we can get some gold, we can get an item, we can level up. Okay, we have a health damaging floor. Check our health has gone down for all of our characters there. Get a chest. Okay. Go here. We've got a few more chests over there. Uh... We have a self-locking gate. We have a healing and save point. And we have a boss. We set the boss so that we automatically win. We can switch that off at any time. And we have an end screen. Very 
fantastic. So that's the summary of where we're at from our tutorial. Let's see what we can do now. That's the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, please consider smashing those like and subscribe buttons as they do help with the algorithm. Now it's your turn to go make a game. See you in the next one.